I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will learn how to find x-intercept when the equation is given in standard form. Question is, solve by completing squares y equals to half of x square plus 2x minus 7. Now whenever we say solve it means find the value of x for which y is 0. That means solve for x when y is 0. That is what it means. And when y is 0, that point is also the x-intercept. And that is how they are connected. So now let us solve for x. So we'll write y equals to 0 here and then continue. So we have half of x squared plus 2x minus 7. Now we'll do completing the squares method to find the value of x. In that, first step is factor the leading coefficient, which is half in our case. So when you factor out half, you get... 2 times 2, 4x, right? Minus 7. Now, to complete the squares, we have to add and subtract square of half of this number, which is 2 in this case. We'll add and subtract 2 square. So we get half of x square plus 4x plus 4 minus 4 minus 7. Now, first three terms form a perfect square, which can be written as x plus 4 sorry, x plus 2, this is 2 squares, so x plus 2 whole square, and this is minus 4 within bracket, minus 2, minus 7. Now, we can open the bracket and write this in the vertex form, which is half of x plus 2 whole square. When you do half of minus 4, you get minus 2, minus 7. So I can combine these terms and write down the equation in the vertex form, right? So what we get here is 0 equals to half of x plus 2 whole square minus 9. Now to solve this equation, we need to take 9 to the left side, multiply by 2, and then square root, right? So let's do it. So we get 9 equals to half of x plus 2 whole square multiplied by 2. 18 equals to x plus 2 whole square. Now square root. Whenever you square root, remember to put plus and minus, right? Equals to x plus 2. And now we can solve for x. Write this as minus 2 when you bring it. And plus minus. 18 could be treated as 9 times 2, right? Let me write here 9 times 2. Uh, and then we'll simplify this a bit. So we get x as equals to minus 2 plus minus. Square root of 9 is 3. 3 square root 2, right? So that becomes the solution for the given equation. And this solution actually represents the x-intercept. And that is how they are connected. I hope with this example you understand how to find solution of a quadratic equation given in standard form. And these solutions, the real solutions, represent x-intercept. And also, we sometimes call them real zeros. I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.